Let's look at a practical application of creating our own subtraction formula in Microsoft Excel 2013. Now, realize that, first of all, we need to make sure that we review the data carefully because in this case, we're looking for a profit and a loss. And what we have here is, let's take a look at this Google Inc. stock for a minute. So our purchase price was 265 and as you can see the current price is 758 since our current price is higher than the purchase price we should end up with a profit here so we're looking for the total profit between the purchase price and the current price so let's see what happens if we take the uh, value in d3 which is the purchase price minus the current total if you notice we get a negative value. Well, we know that it's a profit because the purchase price is less than the total price. So that wouldn't make sense. So what we need to do is actually take the current total minus the purchase price, and that gives us a profit. Now, if we take this all the way down and fill it in, we notice that we have a loss here. Well, let's make sure that that's a loss. The current total is indeed less than the purchase total, so we would expect a loss. So there are profits, there are losses, and that is doing basic subtraction in Microsoft Excel.